Hey there, I'm Jamira, a wife, mom, life and biz coach obsessed with helping you create an intentional life filled with grace, passion and purpose. Right here is where we ditch the idea of balance and embrace practical tips, insightful stories and effective resources designed to support you through every season of your unique journey. Together, let's unlock the secrets to designing a joy-filled life you'll love. Welcome to Living Well-Rounded, the podcast. I'm back. I can't believe that the day has finally come for me to be back in front of the mic, tucked away, super casual, in my podcast studio, ready to kick off a new season of Living Well-Rounded, the podcast. Listen, some of you are probably like, where have you been? What is going on, Jamira? I have not heard you in literally over a year. And guess what? We are going to discuss that today. I am going to just talk about the hiatus along with what to expect during the epic season ahead. And so you guys, I started this podcast back in 2019 before the pandemic. And after publishing 99 episodes, (laughs) I paused and I took an unexpected break. So the funny thing is, I knew the podcast statistics and I knew that a lot of podcasts failed. A lot of them don't even go past like 10 episodes. So I challenged myself to 100 episodes, but I fell short. I literally stopped at number 99, but it's all for good reason. And we, like I said, we will get into all of that. Um, I am personally am in a season of legit living and walking in my mission to live well-rounded. Like, I really hope that when people see me, they understand what our mission is over here and what it means to live a well-rounded life. And so that is one of the reasons why I had to take a hiatus if you understand what our mission is all about. And you will if you hang out for a bit. And before we go into that even further... I just want to say hello. Hello to all of the new listeners. If this is your first time here, I am so grateful that you have tuned in. My name is Jamira, and I am committed to helping you curate and live your version of what it means to live well-rounded. To my OGs, what's up, friends? I have missed you so much. You have no idea. And some of you follow me on social media, and you have all had a glimpse of the things that I've been doing in lieu of podcasting. But some of you have also slid into the DMs like, girl, when are we getting a new episode? What is up with the podcast? What are you doing with your life? And so I am back and committed and excited to show up and serve, which is all that I all that I love to do. And so we are back. I am back and I am also still fully immersed in coaching and just being a wife, a mom, a friend, and everything that I need to be to myself. And that is one of the reasons why I took a break from podcasting. I was in a season, which I'm sure many of you are in a similar season or have been in a season where you have felt the overwhelm. You have felt like, you know what? I need to hit pause. I need to take a break. This ain't working. Life was life in. And I knew in my gut, as much as I wanted to go on with the show, that my family needed me to step up. They needed me to do more of the nurturing, to do more of just the handholding and making sure that my children were taken care of, our home was taken care of. And so something had to give, which again, if it's a life that you're trying to curate that is well-rounded, you have to stop and think about what is on your plate? What, how do you want to show up? Who do you want to take care of? And are you taking care of yourself? And I wasn't. I was not taking care of myself. My kids were doing all right, but I knew that they needed me a little bit more. Marriage was solid and good, but I mean, you can never just pour into your partner enough. And so those things were important to me. And I had to let something go. And I love working with my clients and coaching them. So I didn't want to let them go. But I felt like I could hit pause on this podcast. But guess what? We are here. We are back and I am ready to show up and serve and to make up any of the lost time, you know, that we had when I was on hiatus. And so with that being said, make sure that you pause really quickly, hit subscribe so that you are notified when we do launch these new episodes because they are coming at you hot. We have already recorded some incredible 
interviews with some amazing guests. And I am super excited, grinning ear to ear, because you are going to love the new content, the new format, and how we are rolling moving forward. I said, if I bring this show back or when I bring this show back, it wasn't going to be fluff. It wasn't going to be fake. It was going to be Jemira. Some people call me G, some people call me Gia, all the things. Whatever I am in real life to my friends and my family and my clients, that's what I want to bring to this platform. Like, I want to make sure that anybody listening to me feels like they are having a conversation with their girlfriend, with their coach, with just a friend in general. And like, when you meet me in real life, what you see is what you get. And that's 100% authentically me. And if you are around me, you know that I am someone that is going to pour into you, that's excited to hear what you have going on in your life, excited to share any and everything that I come across, if it means that it helps us live the life that we ultimately want to live. And so you can expect some amazing interviews um, with some great guests. You can expect some really good solo episodes where I'm just coming at you straight. Like again, no fluff, nothing, you know, that is just like mediocre. Because if I'm going to show up, I'm going to show up and I'm going to show out. And that is the vibe that we have going on because your girl is still trying to walk in and embody what it means to live around it. And we don't have a lot of time. So we're going to make sure we're going to make the best use of our time. All right. So again, aside from podcasting, I was working as a coach, continue to do that for creative entrepreneurs and obviously taking care of my kids, my friends, If you are new here, you may or may not know that I also have a condition called fibromyalgia. So one of the major things that I did is I took a step back to get my health in check. I realized I was not in the best health. I just was literally debilitated in some of my movements and things that I was doing. And so I went and did a whole holistic approach to how I was going to tackle my health. And I will tell you that at 40 years old today, the day that this is being released, OMG, I have never felt better. I have not. Since the day I got diagnosed and just the way I used to live my life on this hustle culture, I have never felt better. And I'm just so grateful. If you are a believer, I'm just so grateful to to God that he has um, just allowed me to get to this place. I'm trying not to cry and tear up, but oh, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for 40 years. I'm grateful that he has provided me the tools and the resources and the people and the things that I need needed to get to this place of just peace and a place of just joy in my heart and a place of just service and a place where I feel 100% comfortable in my skin. And that has not always been the case. And so here we are on this 40th day of uh, 40th year of life for me on my birthday, um, just me showing up and doing something that I love. And that is talking to you, friends. And so life has has been life in and but in the best way possible. And I feel like I have the energy that I hadn't before, the creativity and just the excitement that had dwindled, um, you know, before we took this hiatus. And so your girl is back ready to show up, ready to serve, ready to be on wherever you listen to your podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, check in wherever you are. Let me know um, over on Instagram where you listen to the show. And that is where we will show up every single week. We are back. And so what else can I tell you about what has been going on? Um, oh, we built a house. <laughs> that is something else that took a lot of my time is like we built a house. Um, we kind of talk about it in a few like upcoming episodes because um, spoiler alert, my husband, I'm bringing him back for a segment called The Pollard Perspective. And we are just 100% candid talking about our life, our marriage, some things that just really are conversations that we just love to have. And uh, we built a house during that break. We literally bought some land. We built a house from the ground up. And that project almost killed me all. It was a lot. It was very stressful. Um, But, you know, sometimes you have to go through the struggles to get what you ultimately want. So there were so many life lessons that I learned in that season about weight, about patience, about what is yours will be yours. Maybe not when you want it or where you want it. But if it's for you, it will happen. And so there are a lot of lessons in that. And I feel like I want to do a whole show on just what it meant for our family and and why we were so gung-ho on this particular project. Because I also had a vision 
that this home that we built in a lake community is where I would also be able to bring clients and just to also have a nice place of peace. And that home is my place of peace and a place that I just really pray that my grandchildren one day, no time soon, will be able to just share with their family and their friends. It's our legacy home and it is a piece of all the hard work and all the things that we are doing right now. It is encompassed in that you know particular property. Um, and so we had the space, we've moved into that particular space, uh, we go and we visit, then it's a great place for us to just reset before we feel like we get to a point of burnout. And that is something that I am trying to avoid. And so I am working smarter, not harder. And I am doing what I preach, which is creating systems and workflows and processes and all the things, even for this show, so that I can just do it on a whole new scale and a whole nother level so that I don't have to leave you again. Like that is the ultimate goal here. But if I do need to take a break, it's okay. And I hope you know that too. It is okay to take a break and you can pick it up. It's no one's gonna die if I don't do this show. Um, But I do know that when I do these shows and these episodes, that people do get something out of it. At least that's what they tell me. So that is it. Um, It has just been, it's been a journey. Uh, Like I said, I feel like building that house is this full-time job. Working with my clients is its full-time job. Being a mom and a wife, anybody that wears any of those hats, you know that they are full-time jobs if you do come from a place of service and just, you know, wanting to show up. Um, But again, I'm back and I'm excited and it's going to be amazing. And this podcast will be a place where we can just kiki, we can laugh, we can cry, we can talk about our dreams. This will be your safe place to just get all the tools and all of the resources and the the words of encouragement I hope that you will need so that you can show up and you can be the best version of yourself and that you can put whatever you need to put in place and take what you can from this podcast to live a life that allows you to feel fulfilled and to feel joyful and to feel hopeful. And, you know, that is the type of community that I want to build. It's just all positivity, all good vibes, just being, you know, laser focused on being the best versions of ourselves. And so I've been focused. I've been listening to what you guys have been asking for, what you've been craving. And a lot of people just want, like a lot of my friends and family, they're like, listen, when you do this show, it should just be who you are. You don't have to show up for anybody just do you. And I think that that is, you know, something that will make a big difference as we move forward. So no fluff, just the good stuff. And friends, with that said, you know, I'm glad we were able to just catch up really quickly before we totally dive in to all of these incredible episodes that I have planned for you um, over the next couple weeks and beyond. Um, if you are not following me on Instagram, my handle is at I am living well rounded. So make sure you slide into the DMs. Let me know that you heard the show, that you have maybe have some excitement as well, like me. And then also just share, share with a friend as you listen to the next episodes and let people know, you know, that you found a place that will give you the weekly encouragement, the weekly tools and all the things to live a life that feels well-rounded. We are ditching the idea of balance because I say it does not exist, but we are living well-rounded. Check out our new blog and website, um, livingwellroundedpodcast.com. And that is where you are going to find all of the show notes and a lot of resources totally free that I have created for this community. So We're going to have the conversations, but we're also going to do the work. So don't just listen and then turn off, you know, your phone, your computer, whatever. No, listen and do the work because to get to a place of joy, positivity, happiness, whatever, we got to do the work. We have to show up. Okay. So we're stripping down the layers, all the fake stuff, and we are showing up so that we can just do us unapologetically and just be the best version. That is so important. So friends, new friends, old friends. Thank you for rocking with me for all of these years, but most importantly for sticking with me as we start a brand new season and just a brand new um, place to live well around. Like that's, that's what we're trying to do. All right. So friends, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. And you know how we always end our shows. Remember to stay safe, to stay positive and to focus on what matters most. OMG, I miss saying that. I missed it, but we are back, friends. Go share. Bye. Hey, friend. 
Thank you for spending time with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to the show to catch new episodes as soon as they drop. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a five-star rating and a review. It really helps us reach more well-rounders just like you. For show notes and access to our free resources, visit livingwellroundedpodcast.com. And let's keep the conversation going over on Instagram. You can find us at I am living well-rounded.